Warren Buffett warns that you're going to get a tax hike. <laughs> and that's exactly what I've been saying, even though Joe Biden been lying, saying that, oh, if you make over $400,000, your taxes aren't going to go up. That's a lie. We know that he's not um, um, going to um, extend the Trump tax cuts, which means that everyone taxes is going to go up. Uh, so by, so he's, he's a liar. We all know Joe Biden's a liar. The real issue is government spending. It's not that they're not taking in enough money. They're taking a lot, taking in a lot of our money. Is that they're spending us into oblivion. The government refused to balance the budget. They refused to stop overspending and giving money to people overseas and continue continue to borrow money from ch countries like Japan and China. And that's why we're in the mess that we're in because they refuse to cut the spending. Not because they're not getting enough t uh, of our tax dollars. They're getting record numbers of our tax dollars, even with Trump's uh, tax cuts. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, but before we get started, go to hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Or hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. All right, let's talk about this news here. All right, now this comes from uh, PJ Media's Stephen Green. And uh, he reports that Warren Buffett, the billionaire oracle of Omaha, says that Washington will likely, quote, take a larger percentage of what you of what we own and will pay it uh, because either um, because it's either that or cut spending. <laughs> and you know how Washington feels about cutting spending. And that's what I was just alluding to. I mean, we I don't I don't think we've ever had a balanced budget. I think maybe one time under um under um bill clinton and that's when we had that dot-com boom but other than that I, I don't think of any time in history of my memory my recent memory that we've ever balanced the budget or cut spending or anything like that they just spend 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 again they're going to spend us into oblivion but quote he says quote i think higher taxes are likely he warned investors at berkshire hathaway annual shareholders conference on saturday Washington may decide that someday they don't want the physical fiscal deficit uh, to be this large because that has some important consequences. So they may not want to decrease spending and they may decide they'll take a larger percentage of what we own and will pay it. Of course, they're going to strong arm us. We have no choice but to pay it. But that's that's why this election is so, so important. We have to get rid of Joe Biden. He is going to spend us into oblivion. He's going to uh, take more of our money um, just to, just by um, just by uh, 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 letting letting the tax uh, Trump tax cut expire. Everyone tax is going to go up, I think, by at least a thousand dollars. Most people is going to be like fifteen, seventeen hundred dollars. He's going to be taken from every American. But um, president. President Joe Biden, Presidentish Joe Biden has promised as much too, indicating that he won't push to extend the Trump tax cuts next year if he wins re-election in November. David Winston wrote for Roll Call last week that in April Biden told elector, um, electrical union workers that in 2025 the 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act will die. It's going to expire, and if I'm re-elected. It's going to stay expired. Like, that's a good thing. Again, everyone knows that Trump tax cuts helped everyone across the board. But according to the House Ways and Means Committee, Republicans, if Congress fails to extend the Trump era tax cuts, it means an average American family of four making $75,000 will get hit with a $1,500 tax increase. Quote, Main Street businesses will face a 43.4% tax rate. 43, almost 50%. That is crazy. And working parents will suffer from a child tax credit slashed in half, along with the standard deduction every taxpayer is due. Remember, Biden's promise not to raise taxes on anyone making less than $400,000. If you had a dollar for every time Biden has broken that promise, you might have enough money to pay for those tax hikes he said you wouldn't be getting. Again, I, I, and the mainstream media is allowing him to lie. Except for um, Fox. Fox did do a, um, <clears throat> it was either Fox or Fox Business. Really did a great, um, um, did a great um, 
explanation on what's happening with the tax cuts and how much you're gonna your your taxes are gonna be raised when um if um Biden happens to um win the twenty twenty four election and the tax uh tax cuts expired. He they did a great video on that. I can't remember if I did a, a response video to that or not. But um I remember watching that video. But uh the article goes on to say this is what Sir Keith Joseph Margaret Thatcher's mentor called the ratchet effect in action. When leftists take charge, they increase the scope and scale of government spending and control as much as possible. When conservatives come back into power, at best they do little more than freeze things where the leftists left things. Biden has abused it like a few others, passing one massive spending bill after another while imposing one massive regulatory scheme after another on the economy. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal reported in April, the most recent data suggests the IRS is still focused on the middle class. Of course they are. Again, they can't touch the rich because the rich has really good lawyers. They have really good accountants. So they don't really have to pay as much taxes as we as um Biden tried to pr try to pretend like he's hitting them with. But as of last summer, 63% of new audits targeted taxpayers with income of less than $200,000. 63%. So so much for going after the rich. Only a small overall share reached the very highest earners, while 80% of the audits covered filers earning less than a million dollars. And this is that was from Wall Street Journal. And Biden's so-called Inflation Reduction Act, which we know it does the exact opposite of what it says it's going to do, included an $80 billion budget boost for the IRS, ostensibly so those new ages could focus their audits on the rich. And yet, the Wall Street Journal story said the agency has been slow to shift its focus to high-income taxpayers who make up a small share of the total filings. Again, I told you, it's not that many rich people like they try to portray it in. So they have to get the money from someone, and it is the middle class. Rich people have better accountants, that's what I was just alluding to, than the IRS does. The middle class doesn't. The IRS knows exactly why chickens are ripe and plucking, or ripe for plucking, sorry. All these stories add up to one conclusion. Forget Buffett's warning that tax hikes are likely on the way in the form of inflation, increased audits on the middle class, and the expiration of the tax, uh, Trump tax cuts. They're either already here or quickly coming. Um, but uh, a great, great article. I agree with everything in this article. This is the same sentiments that, that I've been saying for um, uh, months now. Um, but let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.